Good morning, friends. It is a little bit before 8 a.m. I got up at 6.30. I did a three mile run today, um, which was like a fun run. I did the Kelly Clarkson run on Peloton. It was amazing. And then I did a half hour of weights just to make sure I'm doing some strength training, which within my marathon training. But I mean, I'm six months out and like three miles is like a base run for me, which is really nice. I will do a longer distance run. I think it's five miles this Saturday, um, but I feel good for it. I feel like I hit the three, three and a half miles this week and I could go longer. I always feel like the first mile is the hardest, which isn't that a metaphor for life? The first part of something is always the hardest and then it gets easier. Um, but yeah, it went really well today. Did strength training. What I'm doing right now is waiting for some movers to come. They are taking out the bookcase in Steven's office, the leather sectional, and then a pottery barn table um, that we sold during the estate sale. Um, but it needs to be moved to um, Kingston, New York. So the movers are coming today from the buyer and I'm gonna coordinate that. I have everything prepped already. Here's the table. It doesn't look large and it, it's like a normal side table that you would put in your living room or bedroom, but it weighs a ton. And then I prepped these shelves to be taken out. The drawers in the ladder are here. We just don't wanna move it. A, a long distance move is priced based off of weight, and this thing is enormous. The other thing is, it really doesn't go with the style of house that we are going to be transitioning to, but it was a perfect, piece for here. It's just like a little too industrial for us. And Steven and I haven't figured out how we're setting up our home office. But what that means is right now, all this is taking place. And if you know me, you know that this is my most prized possession. Um, I'm actually gonna box these and they're gonna go in my car. But this set of books, you will see how like yellowed and beat up they are. This is my grandmother's set of Anne of Green Gables books, and she gave them to me um, a couple years before she passed. I would say I had them maybe in our first New York house, but my grandmother has read all of these, and now they're mine, but they are my most prized possession. Like if my house was burning down, this is what I would run and grab. But uh, I will uh, pack these, and usually once a year, I'll work my way through the whole series again. I'll probably do that this summer when we land in North Carolina, work my way through the series. They're just, they're just so special to me. Uh, and I've had them now for many years. So, yeah, the movers are here. I am still debating whether or not I'm gonna do what I planned for us to do. Um, I know, cliffhanger. We'll find out if we end up doing it. But, I don't know, the weather is just like super cold and not very nice out. Some snow squalls last night that actually like lent itself to probably two inches of snow, maybe an inch and a half. So, we have a snowy, landscape. Steven has the dogs upstairs, so when the movers come, I can kind of navigate it without them around. But yeah, today I'll probably also try to now kind of get this all packed and put away and organized because now the dining room is becoming like a catch-all for everything. Well, it is 8.30. The movers are gone, and I just like was sweeping. I had like a little bit of an emotional moment. Like, our bookcase isn't here. And like, you guys know how important like books are to Steven and I, it just feels so bizarre. But there will be a new bookcase, and there will be new memories. But it just kind of is sinking in that this isn't our house anymore. And also, why does Steven still have CD-ROMs? I'm married to a monster. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, like, it's just, I don't know. 
These are the moments, and I think there will be several of them over the last two weeks here that are just, well, actually last week and a half here that just hit differently. I think about this house and like what it meant to Steven and I when we got it and like how proud we were that we were able to get a house like this because as a kiddo raised in rural Pennsylvania with parents who worked really hard and sacrificed a lot, but we did not have much. Like, I never dreamt that I would have this life. And I'm so incredibly grateful for it. Like, I didn't dream this big for myself as far as my career and uh, living in a home like this just wasn't even on my like scope of dreaming and Stephen and I have built something really spectacular together and something we should really be proud of. So I need to keep remembering like, although this is sad, it's also like a super proud moment of what, what we've accomplished and what this house has granted us. Not just a roof over our head and the memories that it served, but like how it has set us up for the future because it has served us very well. It's just, it's, it's sinking in. It's sinking in. With that being said, Stephen, before he left for work, can find the dogs. It sounds like they're having a dance party. Oh, we're listening to Beyonce. I better cut this off before I get a copyright. Such a mess. <laughs> what are you doing? They're good doggies. Bubba's typically thrives the most in colder weather, so we're curious to see how North Carolina treats him. So you have a little, you have a little pep in your step today. Come on in. Come on, you got this. Come on, it's good for your health. Good job. You come in like a terror. Good job. Don't worry, I'm gonna do the floors later. Well, let's correct that. I'm not going to do the floors. Narwhal, I will press a button and Narwhal will do our floors. Oh, I'm so, my nose is running. Cookie for you. And cookie for you. Good doggies. All right, friends. So I was planning on us doing an adventure to possibly Aurora, New York, which is like 50 minutes away. And it houses, houses. It is where the Mackenzie Childs like main location is. And I wanted to see their Sterling collection to see if it would go with the house. However, we're supposed to be getting a windstorm in the next, like, this afternoon, like 12 to 3. And it is 20 degrees there. I just checked because it's on the water. And I just don't think it's a beautiful day to do that. Um, we've been talking, my sister and I have been talking with my mom. She's finalizing some packing. My sister and I are coordinating time for us to go help them. And like, there's just so many <laughs> moving pieces all over the place right now. Uh, all the best of moving pieces, but moving pieces nonetheless. But I might save Aurora for tomorrow just because I don't want to get caught in the wind. And A, I don't really want to be in 20 degree weather on the water. It's just not how I want to spend my Thursday. Also today at three o'clock, we have people coming to pick up our snow blower that we sold. Clearly we won't be needing that. And I think another thing Steven sold in the garage, I can't remember, it might be an air compressor. I forget, something else he sold. And then another person is coming tonight to pick up a blue velvet chair from Steven's office, a bed that was in our basement that we carried up from the garage and a uh, uh, area rug. So that's all in the garage, all moved up. And yeah, so we are going to go to Aurora. I've never been, so I'm super excited to go, but I just want to uh, plan it out better. Alrighty, that is what is happening so far today. Mabel is sleeping upstairs, Bubba is sound asleep in the living room, and we are just hanging out. And I'm hoping that we don't lose power during this windstorm. We haven't lost power very often while we've lived here, but the last couple times we've gotten windstorms, we've lost power. So I went ahead and plugged in all of our charging banks so that we have them just in case. 
I'm hoping it all works out. I am so happy. So I had this table in my like mood boards and really was considering getting it. It was an Amazon purchase. It was super reasonable. It was like 60 bucks. And I was just like, oh, we'll see how it is. Now, I do think some of this is veneer. It's hard to tell. I don't know. This, because this feels pretty solid. This is definitely like a veneer wrap of some kind, or it's just like a wood planked wrap. Either way, this is the natural finish. And I wanted like some cocktail tables next to chairs. And I'm obsessed with it. It's gonna look so good with the style. I like it so much that I've already ordered one. So before I share it, I've already <laughs> placed my order for a second one. It's like a good weight. I would say it's about 12 pounds, maybe 15. But like, look how perfect that is with the height of a chair to like rest a drink on or like next to. I, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. It's so good. Yeah, such a good, good find. Love it. Highly recommend it's linked down below for you. All right, so I just got cleaned up because once we load up the next pickup at 5.15, I'm gonna head off to dinner with some friends. But uh, we just got rid of the snowblower. All those things, Steven took the dogs for a walk because he came home early today. And yeah, it's been so cold. I can't believe he decided to take them for a walk because it's like 20 degrees right now. But just waiting for this next pickup. And I think those are all the pickups now that need to take place. Yeah, I think that's it. Everything is sold that we wanted to sell, obviously. But what a cold, snowy day. Just a cold, cold, snowy day.